best sequel ever made. I don't know, Charlie. I mean, are we talking series or just a sequel like part two? Because I gotta say, Friday the 13th Part 4 kicks the entire Halloween series ass. AJ, I'm well aware that you're a Jason fan, but I'm talking sequel, part two. And there is no way that you can argue that Jason with a burlap sack on his head is the best sequel ever made. Back me up here, man. Well, are we talking within the genre, or do you as a whole? Because I was really a fan of T2, not to mention some of the recent comic book sequels. Spider-Man, hello? Okay, I think you guys know where I stand on this issue, so I'm just going to say that I'm going to you and save you from where I roll. Yeah. I know what you want to do when you get to Vegas. Oh! <laughs> Convention on the planet. Not for damn long. Come on. Tell me you're not gonna drop a few bucks in the craps table when we get there. Maybe, but we gotta get there first. Okay, hello. Am I the only one aware of the fact that we make this drive every year and this is the first time we've seen this pickaxe eat crap before? Don't be such a negative Nancy. You could be the old geezer's first customer. Whatever. What do you say, man? me. Great advertising you got out there. You kids looking to get rich. Well, ain't that the American dream? Yep. I suppose that's true. So how much are you charging for this popular expedition of yours? Yeah, and how long is the tour? We don't want to be late. Well, it ain't so much of a tour. You see, you want to go panning for gold? I set you up with some pans, and I send you on yonder down the creek. Yeah, great. So how much? How much you got? <laughs> All right, 50 bucks. Total? <laughs> no, dummy! 50 bucks a head! <laughs> Are you crazy, you old geezer? Now look, you go down there and you find yourself a decent-sized nugget, that's worth like two grand! That's one hell of a profit! Well, yeah, but how do we even know we'll find anything down there? Come on, AJ, let's just go. Meg, let's just go. Now, wait a minute. What if I let you all go down there for free? I 
one condition. Oh yeah? What's that? You can go down there. You can do some exploring, and you can do some painting, but you gotta catch and release. What? Whatever you find down there, you gotta leave it behind. How do you know you can trust me? The greed ain't something you wanna mess around with, son. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right, now laugh it up. I got a story to tell you all about the greed. It's gonna be a gory one. So if any of you ladies wanna take a step outside, I'd be much obliged. We're cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, my great granddaddy came down here to do some painting. Gold Rush of, uh, 49. At the time, it seemed that there was enough gold for everyone to have their own fortune. <laughs> oh, when we get back to Virginia, we're gonna have the biggest, fanciest wedding anybody's ever seen, and the two of you get in front row seats. Well, I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been The soldiers have a rule to cry out there louder, Mr. Wendell. <laughs> but for some, it just wasn't enough. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm about to piss myself. The greed had got inside of us. <laughs> There's another custom! <laughs> Some got it in their minds that they didn't want to split up their findings. Did she shoot him? Let's just say the greed got the best of all of them. <laughs> he killed all four of them that night. Ooh, how tragic. I'd like to be the guy who walked by after it happened and scooped up all that gold they killed each other for. Well, if you quit interrupting, I'd like to finish my story. You see, no one ever found that gold. The greed cursed it and their souls. Now I'm not saying no one's found nothing down there. Plenty of people have gone down there and found them something. But everyone who's come back said, in order to get the souls off their back, they gotta put the gold back in the creek. So are you talking about ghosts? Hell yeah, I'm talking about ghosts. Do your kids want to go panning or not? Because I got better things to do with my time. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got yourself a deal. AJ, come on. We don't have a lot of time to waste. Don't worry, Benny boy. We'll check it out real quick and then be on our way. Don't let the greed get inside you, son. What you find down there, you leave behind. Your friends, too. <coughs> Do you guys really think this place is haunted? It could be. You know, I had a really bad feeling about this place at first, but it all makes sense now. I'm so excited. I've never seen a ghost before. Yeah, well, I mean, I've never seen a ghost, but uh, I think there's one living in my mom's attic. <laughs> no, seriously. I can hear someone walking around out there sometimes at night. I don't think he's trying to scare us away or anything, though. AJ, why are we wasting our time here? It's not like we can even keep the gold if we find any. 
Besides, I like these two. I don't want to see any ghosts. Come on. How the hell is that guy gonna know? If we take a little rock out of the water and put it in our pockets when we leave, he'll never know the difference. Dude, even if we find anything, we can't keep it. You heard what that guy said. He's crazy. And besides, he just said... Oh, cool, a ghost town. Scariest ghost movie of all time. Go. The Shining. Poltergeist 2. Ghostbusters. Scariest? It was the first thing I could think of besides the fog. So why didn't you say the fog? Okay, the fog. Meg? The Sixth Sense. No way, that guy's movies suck. Well, maybe some of them, but The Sixth Sense was awesome. I'm gonna have to go with the Amityville Horror, because that shit really happened. Are you fucking crazy? That didn't happen. That's like saying Texas Chainsaw really happened. Anyways, there's no such thing as ghosts. When you die, you're dead. Pete made it sound like a lot of people have seen him. Come on, Sin. You said it yourself. We've never even seen this place before. He probably made all that shit up. Okay, but you don't think that maybe... No, I don't. That guy lied to us. You see, what did I tell you? Did you guys find anything yet? Did you hear me yelling, guys, guys, I struck gold? No. Then no, I didn't find anything yet. Oh my god, I bet that's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just a deer. Oh my god. How y'all doing? Oh, we've been better. Yeah. Good. You, uh, you been here long? No, we just got here. My name's Lucky. Lucky Cole. I've been here a long time. There's nothing left around here. That's why I'm headed up the creek. Yeah, we're not finding much either. All right, then. Well, uh, good luck to you, too. You folks take care now. See? He said there's something down here. Do you think maybe we can go now? Yeah, AJ, please. I've accepted the fact that we're gonna be late, but if we miss this party completely, I'll kill you. Come on, Charlie. You wanna stay a little later? No, not really. Fine. Ghost. Don't be stupid. It obviously wasn't. It wasn't even see-through or anything. Come on, I'm just trying to have a cool story to tell. I think our encounter with Pete was good enough. Fuck you! Splitting it up three ways. Money? What money? Did you find something back there that you're not telling us about? All I'm saying is, it's dark enough out here and ain't nobody gonna see us run. If we go inside and take all that gold for ourselves, hell old Pete ain't gonna see nothing. But if we're gonna do it, we gotta hurry before Buck gets back. Well, I don't know about this.
sorry. AJ, wait. Guys! There's something weird that's going on. We gotta get out of here. Where's Charlie? Really? How do you know? It's like someone came over me, ma'am. Like I was possessed. And the next thing I know, I'm kissing some corpse. First of all, don't ever call my friend a corpse again. We all saw you guys back there, and she was definitely kissing you back. And second of all, that was a really lame attempt at scaring us, mister. I don't believe in this shit. I'm gonna go find Charlie. AJ, what was that? Sorry, Meg. It's like I was telling these guys, it's like I was possessed. Possessed? Yeah, like I wasn't me and you weren't you. I don't know how to explain it, okay? I just got this weird feeling. When I looked at you, it was like you were some ugly dead girl. Jerk. AJ says he was possessed. Oh. So? So? Come on, I mean, we all know how you feel about her. But does she know? No, I guess not. Well, how is she supposed to know if you don't tell her? It's not like it matters anyway. I mean, she obviously has a thing for AJ. Yeah, well, he doesn't seem so into her. Really? Because it doesn't seem that way to me. Well, if it makes you feel any better, he just called her a corpse. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Come on, let's go back over there. We'll make fun of AJ for his lame possession scare tactic. And then, the first chance you get, you tell that girl how you feel about her. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I uh, interrupting something? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Um. So AJ got possessed, huh? So, you really think there's something out there? I don't know, man. I shouldn't have said anything. It was stupid. Who's got my golden arm? <laughs> Real funny, Sin. Isn't it supposed to be cold when there's a ghost around? Well, that's one theory. Come out, ghost. Show yourself. <laughs> Ghosts don't necessarily have a physical appearance. I believe that there's an energy behind everything. Now, I'm using energy right now to walk up this road. But, let's say that someone were murdered. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. The amount of energy released from such an outburst of, of anger or, or passion can leave a huge disturbance in the energy fields. And in the same way that sound waves can create a sonic boom, such an event could create a sort of energetic black hole trapping their souls forever. Right, but that spirit could also pull from other kinds of energy, like like thermal energy, sucking the heat out of a room in order to physically manifest itself. <laughs> okay, but how could a ghost take over somebody else's body? I mean, not that I'm saying that's what happened. Well, theoretically speaking, of course, we could assume that the spirit is trying to suck the heat out of your body, but instead of manifesting itself physically, it can combine its own energy with your brain waves in order to show you its own memories. But that's a pretty out there theory. No, no, that's great. I, I think you're onto something. Really? Yeah. assholes move my car. What are you talking about? We've all been together this whole time. I knew this place was fishy. I told you not to stop. Where the fuck is that sleazy bastard, Pete? Hey, guys, 
guys, are we sure we're in the right place? I mean, maybe we just went the wrong way somewhere. No, this is definitely it. I remember all those cabins back there. We gotta find that asshole. Hand it for free. We're like, we're right! Sam, why don't you and Ben go with him? Meg and I will wait here and see if anybody shows up. in life is to schmooze with my favorite B-movie icons. But no, we had to stop and go panning for gold? What the fuck? What? Do you see that? What is that, a house? Yeah, it looks like it. Come on, let's check it out. Creepy. Yeah. We should probably go in there, right? Yeah, we probably should. You first. Oh, no, ladies first. I insist. Shoot you for it? Okay. <laughs> After you. Two out of three. Uh, fine. Ha! <laughs> okay, last one. Are so predictable. I don't want to go up there. Fine, I'll go. I got bored waiting for you, so I thought I'd take a chance. Well, did you find anything? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we should keep looking then. Yeah.
shouldn't do that. What? You're too pretty for that. Yeah, okay. So, that, that kiss with AJ, you think that was for real? I mean, was he just trying to... I don't know. It was weird. He said something about splitting up some money. Then he kissed me. Now he's acting all stupid about it. What money? I don't know. He wouldn't say. Huh. Hey, would you talk to him for me? What? Yeah, just find out if he likes me. You know, see why he's been acting so weird. Oh. Please. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Yay. Charlie. You're the best. <laughs> Actually, Meg, there's something I gotta tell you. It's something that I've been meaning to tell you for a while now. Did he say something to you? What? No, no, nothing like that. What is it? <sighs> I'm just a little bit nervous. Sorry. It's just, I... Where's AJ? I thought I saw Pete go in there. the car and uh, pick some more up on the way, okay? Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah, me too. I'll stay here with AJ. You guys be safe. Who 
knows? Well, the obvious answer is that he's trying to scare us. You think that's really it? It probably is, right? I don't know. Something just doesn't seem right. Meg mentioned earlier that he really freaked out on her. He said something about splitting up some money. I mean, if he found something, he would tell us, though, right? Come on, Danny. We're talking about AJ here. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, hey, check it out. that I don't like this place? What was that guy's name? The one that came through back when we were panning? They call me Lucky. Lucky Cole. Sin? I think you're about to like this place even less. Better keep moving. It could have just been a coincidence, right? I guess so. Like, maybe he's an escaped convict and he was wandering through the graveyard and he picked up a new name before he got to us. <laughs> Does it make you feel better knowing that it was an escaped convict and not a ghost? Ew. No. Besides, I, I thought you'd be excited. Didn't you want to see a ghost? Well, yeah, that's before I thought there'd be any. say this, so I'm just gonna say it, okay? I know you've had a thing for me for a while now, but I think you should know I'm not a commitment type of guy, so I think you just need to get over me, okay? Excuse me? I'm just not trying to settle down with anyone anytime soon. Who said anything about settling down? Well, I don't know, but you're a girl, and I know a lot of girls. They all want the same thing. Oh, yeah? What's that? What? What do I want? You want me to be your boyfriend, duh. You want to be my girlfriend, and then you want me to buy you a big, expensive ring. The biggest waste of money ever. Then you'll be wanting whiny, smelly babies crawling around. <sighs> no way. One more guess. Okay, what about the part where the guy's trying to break into her house and Swayze warns her? That is scary. I'm sorry, but Ghost is not a scary movie. <laughs> ben, back me up here.
have not been behind us. I don't know. Where the hell could he have gone to? We did find a weird old house that way. Where? There. You know, come to think of it, he's been acting really weird ever since. Let's go check it out. What is it you think I want? Okay, okay, I know. But once you get it, you won't be able to get enough. And then you'll want to be my girlfriend. It happens all the time. We're friends, right? Yeah. So, why can't we just have fun together? That's what friends do, right? I just don't want you getting the wrong idea. Oh, I've got some ideas, all right. Weird. Yeah. Ben was too scared to go inside, so I went up those stairs. And when I came back, he found this other door. And when I came out, he was acting really strange. I asked him if he found anything, and he said no, and I believed him. Come on. We have to go find them and make sure they're okay. out that way. They could be what, Meg? Dead? Don't say that. Ben! Where are you? What? You're the one that was gonna say it. What the hell was that? I don't know, but I think we need to have a little chat with AJ. Do you think he saw the same thing? Yeah, don't you? Why wouldn't he tell us? Maybe he just didn't want us to get scared. <sighs> you really think he'd be so noble? Come on, it's AJ we're talking about here. Oh, thank God. Meg! Ben! Where's Ben? We don't know. He wandered off. You guys, something really strange is happening here. AJ, we need to know what happened to you in that cabin. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. Fine. We'll tell you what we saw first. Hopefully you'll be ready to talk after that. Look, Ben and I found this really weird old house in the woods, and after that he started acting really strange. So when he wandered off, 
Sin told me about the place, and we went to see if that's where he went. But why would he wander off? When we got there, we found this. Is there more? Let me see it. No, this was it. The really weird thing is that when I picked it up, it's like, it's like it took me through a portal in time. Yeah, and there were ghosts. We went through a time portal and saw ghosts? Charlie went through the time portal, but I saw the ghosts. Yeah. And that's what I was seeing. The ghosts were there, only they weren't dead yet. I think they're trying to tell us something. As soon as I touch this piece of gold... <coughs> it's like I was suddenly inside someone else's body. And I was running through these same woods until I tripped on something. And that's when I noticed the huge sack of gold that I was carrying. And then I found out why I was running. The next thing I know, this cowgirl is pointing a gun at me, asking for the gold back. What you doing, Buck? Think of that old story Pete told us. Elizabeth. Huh? That's what her name is, I think. The same thing happened to me when I touched that pickaxe. I was sitting on her porch talking. I told her we should take all the gold for ourselves. I knew something was wrong with you. Did you see anything else? Yeah. When I was in that cabin. It's like you said. It's like I was inside somebody else's body. There were a bunch of dead bodies laying around. And I saw a bunch of gold in the water. to get it. And then something fell on top of me. I thought I was drowning. Yeah, and what about Lucky? Yeah, let's not forget to mention, we found the graveyard where our friend Lucky is buried. That guy that walked by earlier? Yeah. What are you saying? He was a ghost? Bingo. <laughs> There's something else. When we first got here, Pete said something strange. Question. Hey man, cut it out. Is this what yours look like? The ghosts? Yeah. Pretty much, but worse. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it! Oh, come on! This isn't even Ben! How come he's got gold coming out of his skin? I don't know, but that's him, so just stop, okay? Fine. It's like I was trying to tell you! Pete stopped me before we came down here. He got all dark and, and creepy, and he said. Don't let the greed get inside you. I don't know what he means, but it looks like that's what happened to Ben. Hold on, he, he said something about the people that survived, right? Do you guys remember what he said? What is it, Meg? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What are you hiding? So why are we making crosses? Would you guys quit talking? I'm trying to bury my friend here, and I gotta hear you two yapping away. AJ, we're just You're trying just to... just what? Sorry that you and four eyes left him alone out there? Are you saying this is our fault? 
the rest of us have been sticking together, and you don't see any of us in his position, do you? No, but I do recall you sneaking off by yourself, and uh, you seem to be doing all right. Yeah, and besides, this whole thing was your idea anyway. Yeah, well, Charlie here seemed awfully eager to go along. <laughs> guys, stop it! I think Ben would be really upset if he heard you guys fighting like this. This is all of our fault. This sucks. Bad. But we've got to pull it together and figure this shit out if we're ever going to get out of here. Thanks, Meg. Quit it! Leave him alone! I'm just trying to figure out what happened. No, you're not. You're trying to get rich. Off of what? His acne problem? AJ, that's your friend. Yeah, man. He's not getting a cut of the money from the gold. We might as well let him keep what he's got in his face. Fine. something thanks for finding all this gold man it sucks that you had to die but I guess that just leaves more for the rest of us what was that for you are such an asshole never know what to say Sorry we didn't make it to SplatterCon. And you were my favorite guys to hang out with. I'm gonna miss going to the movies with you. I know you'd hold my hand sometimes when you got scared. <laughs> I always remember that time. We went to Alcatraz and we had to stay overnight because we missed the ferry. I'm so sorry that we're not going to get to have more adventures in this life. But I can't wait to meet you again in the next one. for me? Last one. Thanks. So how much do you think it's worth? Pizza has a couple thousand dollars a piece. There's probably half a million in there. Guys, we still have to find the car. Fuck that piece of shit. We're getting a 69 Chevelle SS. Yeah, well before we can go and buy new cars, we have to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Why don't you guys go look for it, and I'll stay here and watch the gold. Yeah, I'll stay here with him. No, you won't. Look, if anyone should stay here, it should be me. Come on. You guys obviously don't trust each other, so... Why don't you all go, and I'll stay here? Come here. talking about over there? None of your business. You two don't want to go look for the car because you just want to stay here and get it on again. That's all you care about. We missed the convention. Friend is dead. All you guys care about is getting it on. Charlie, where are you going? Away. 
Meg, could I talk to you for a sec? Sure. What was that about? What? Why did Charlie say that? I don't know. Well, I mean, now we're getting it on, but I don't know how Charlie would know that. Or why he would care. I mean, he knows there's something going on between us. God, Meg, you can be so thick sometimes. It's obvious that Charlie's been in love with you since he was like six. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you hurt him really badly. Well, I mean, come on, Sin, what am I supposed to do? Charlie's practically my brother, and he knows that I like AJ, so I don't see what the big deal is. What do you want? You didn't tell her, did you? It's not like it matters anyway. She got what she wanted. I gotta tell you something, Charlie. I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. This whole time I've been telling you to tell Meg how you feel, and I've been too afraid to tell the guy I'm in love with how I feel about him. Welcome to the club. Not so easy, is it? No. Charlie? Yeah? I was not expecting that. I mean, I know you're in love with Meg and everything, and I can expect you to just suddenly be in love with me. I just... I just want to tell you how I feel. I don't know what to say. Uh, flattered? I'm gonna go back there now. Wanna come? No. Just wanna be alone for a while. Okay.
do this? I was born ready. Good. You see, Meg, there's no us. I told you not to expect anything from me. Not your husband, or your boyfriend. Hell, I didn't even get the chance to be your lover. Charlie's crying down by the river. I'm gonna take all this gold and get out of here. When they come back and find you all tied up, don't you dare try and come and find me. Shit, my knife. Anyways, don't come looking for me. It'll be more trouble than it's worth. We'll find Charlie. We're gonna need a lot more manpower if we're gonna take down AJ. Oh my god, Charlie, you have to help us! Hey, what happened? He got me with the rock and he locked me up and he took all the gold. You have to go stop him. Which way did he go? I don't know, she couldn't tell. Yeah, I just hit my foot on something.
Charlie, please, don't hurt me. Charlie, please, please don't hurt me. Charlie, please, don't hurt me. I know I hurt you, but I think I'll make it up to you. You see, no one ever found that gold. The greed cursed it and their souls. But everyone who's come back said, in order to get the souls off their back, they gotta put the gold back in the creek. Charlie, I remember what Pete said. We just have to put all the gold back in the water. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> There's another custom more chanting her than these. When they're wearing out one's grinders, eating goober peas. <laughs> <laughs> So I could uh, guess you could say we're very dandy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. All right. You uh, you've been around here long? Uh, not long enough to strike it rich. How about you? No. What's your name? My name's Lucky. Lucky, Lucky Cole. Cole. Uh, I've, I've been around here a long time, but there's nothing left around here anymore. That's why I'm headed up the creek. Is that right? Well, good luck, Lucky. <laughs> good luck to you too. Thanks. Oh, Lucky. I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Wanna go inside? <laughs> Have fun, buddy. <laughs> Elizabeth? Yes, darling. <laughs> How are you feeling? Why? How should I be feeling? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was just thinking about how much more money we'd have if we weren't splitting it up three ways. I mean, we ought to be getting at least half, seeing how you've been doing so much work to take care of us all. You deserve a cut, too. Not you, too. What are you saying, Tom? It's dark enough out here. Ain't nobody gonna see us running if we slide in and take all that gold for ourselves. Hell, old Pete ain't gonna see nothing. But if we're gonna do it, we gotta hurry before old Buck comes back. I don't know about this. Come on. You want that big wedding? Okay. Let's go. Buck, where are you going? I, I was, was afraid that something would happen to the gold. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to put it someplace safe. So you're protecting our gold. Yeah. Oh, that seems like a right honorable thing to do. Tell you what, Buck, why don't you give us the gold? We'll help you find a good, safe place for it. Don't be stupid. Hand it over.
behind. Just like Pete said, we have to leave him behind. Charlie, I love you, please. It's too late. It's too late! <laughs>